بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلية تمام كان مقسم الدوانية قسم اللغة الإنجليزية مادة اللغة المرحلة الثالثة تدريس محمد حسين بدر. In this chapter, we are going to talk about grammar. Here we have this phrase, the transcription of this phrase. Okay, just this. This is a note. We have already considered two levels of description used in the study of language. We have described linguistic expressions as sequence of sounds that can be represented in the phonetic alphabet and describe in terms of their features. For example, if you have this phrase, the lucky boys, the lucky boys, how can we know this description of this phrase? When we go to this phrase and analyze sound by sound, we say, for example, this sound there is what? Fricative, fricative, voice fricative. If we go on, this is what? Short vowel. This what al is what lateral. A short vowel. K voice stop. Okay. I or E is what short vowel. B is what stop. Oi diphthong and Z is a fricative. So you see here, this is the description of this phrase. <coughs> phonetically and phonologically we can say phonetically we can analyze it phonetically here okay and also phonologically we can we can take the same expression and describe it as a sequence of morphemes here as a sequence of phonemes here also a sequence of phon morphemes for example the lucky boys the lucky boys the same word the same phrase the lucky boys there is what functional, lack is what lexical, and why here is what derivational, boy lexical, and se is what inflectional. With these descriptions, we could categorize all the words and phrases of language in terms of their phonology and morphology. You see here, so here in terms of phonology and morphology, this is very important. You maybe ask it. You may be giving some sentences and try to give description, their description, phonologically and morphologically. We come to grammar. What is a grammar? Yes. However, we haven't ac accounted for the fact that these words can only be combined in a limited number of parties. Of course, when we, when we speak or when we write or when we try to arrange some words we do not put words haphazardly, rather we put them according to certain rules, certain grammatical rules, according to number of patterns, in order to make them grammatical sentences. This is very important note. So we recognize that the phrase the lucky boys is a well formed, some, in English when we say well formed, well, when we use this well formed means what grammatical well formed a phrase or well formed sentence okay it means grammatical phrase grammatical sentence but that the following two phrases are not at all well formed when we say bad formed or not well formed it means any grammatical so we have here boys the lucky lucky the boys so we have here this symbol. We use we use this this symbol, which is asterisk, what to indicate that a form is unacceptable, or ungrammatical, or not well formed. Okay, so of course when we speak or write, we try to what follows set rules. As I said, not to write in this way, to put the in this way. Or here you see of course when we master grammar we will be able to speak and write well from these examples we can see that English has strict rules for combining words and a phrase into the phrases or into phrases the article there must go before the adjective lucky 
which must go before the noun. This is rule. So in order to be grammatical, this type of phrase must have this sequence. Article, adjective, noun. So this is rule. In English, we have this rule. If we have three words, adjectives, noun, and article, we put it in this rule. First, we have to put the article, the A, A, N. Then adjective, then noun. We cannot put noun, article, adjective like this way, or noun, article, adjective, or adjective, noun, article. You see? This is the definition of what? Of grammar. The process of describing the structure of phrases and sentences in such a way that we count for all the grammatical sequences in a language and rule out. Rule out means dismiss. All the ungrammatical sequences is one way of defining grammar. So this is a grammar where we have, where we account for all the grammatical sentences or all the grammatical sequences and rule out, dismissed the ungrammatical or unacceptable sequences. We go to traditional grammar. This title, traditional grammar. The terms article, adjectives, noun, that we use to label the grammar, grammatical categories of the words in the phrase, the lack of voice, come from what or from where? From traditional grammar. They are from traditional grammar, which has its origins in the description of languages such as Latin and Greek. So the, we have this part of speech. They are called part of speech, and we are going to talk about this. They come from what from Latin since they were well established grammatical we talked about this point in chapter uh, chapter 2 or chapter 1 yes in chapter 1 we talked about this point and we said that traditional grammars grammarians depend or depended on what depended on Latin system of language because they think that Latin is perfect Latin is ideal it's perfect okay so, because it's well established, well established, so it just it seemed appropriate to adopt. So English, what English language adopted the existing categories from Latin and apply them in the analysis, okay, like English, Germanic, etc. Why? Why they? Why we talked about this point? Why? The same here, Latin and Greek were the languages of scholarship, religion, philosophy, and knowledge. So the grammar of these languages was taken to be the model for the gram grammars, for other grammars. Okay? Why is it is model? Latin system of language. Latin grammar is model. Why? Because it is the language of scholarship, religion, Bible. Bible is written, but written in Latin. Philosophers, Plato, Platon. Okay, the Plato and Platon, uh, Aristotle, those are philosophers. Okay, knowledge, all from the Latin. So the best known terms from the tradition are those used in describing the part of speech. So they are called part of speech. You, you are familiar with this also. Parts of speech. Terms such as adjective. And noun are used to label forms in the language as the boss of speech or word class. The technical terms, etc. We, we will talk about them in detail so you can see these parts of speech. And they are all here in this sentence. The lucky voice, you see the article, lucky adjective, voice, noun, found verb, a article, backpack, Noun in preposition, the article, park noun, and conjunction, the pronoun, opened verb, it pronoun, carefully adverb. You see here, all the parts of speech are in this sentence, in this long sentence. We will see here the definition, definitions of each one. What what the, what is the meaning or what is the definition of nouns nouns are words used to refer to people boy girls see objects backpack 
باك باك اوكي هاي الحقيبه خلوها على الظهر فور اكزامبل تشيرز بيدز كريتشرز دوغز انيمالز بلايسز سكولز هوسبيتالز كواليتيز رفنس فينومينا ايرث كويك ابستركت ايدياز لاف هيتريد اوكي as if they are all things so this is the noun this is the noun this is very important to differentiate between nouns and verbs adjectives some students till now they don't what those students do not know what is the difference or do not differentiate between nouns articles adjectives so this is a good chance to to differentiate articles words a a and the used with nouns to form noun phrases classifying those things you can have a banana a banana or an apple or the a or a n or the i will take the apple adjectives are words used typically with nouns to provide more information about things referred happy people large objects see strange these are adjectives verbs you see you know verbs go talk play read be have do you see We will talk. J Jessica is all. Adverbs are, are words used typically with verbs to provide more information. For example, slowly, yesterday, tomorrow, really, slowly. Okay, you see, all these are adverbs. Preposition, at, in, or near, with, without. You know them. Used with nouns and the phrases providing information about time. At five o'clock in the morning. Or a place on the table, or other what other connections with knife without a thought, see, involving actions and things, pronouns, like what such as she, herself, they, it, used in the place of noun or phrases, referring to people and things already know. She talks to herself. They said it. Okay, belong to you. Conjunctions, and but because when or. Used to make connections and indicate relationships between events. Chantal's husband was so sweet and he helped her a lot because she couldn't do much when she was pregnant. You see here? All these are bars of speech. Here we have an. Additional information, for example, a noun can be defined as form that comes after an article, okay, and take inflections for possessive. You see, can get benefit. Agreement. What is agreement? This is very important. What is agreement? Agreement. In addition to the terms used for the past of speech, traditional grammar analysis, grammatical analysis has also given us a number of other categories. Including number, person, tense, voice, and gender. These categories can be discussed in isolation, but their role in describing language structure becomes clearer when we consider them in terms of agreement. For example, we say that the verb loves agrees with the noun Kathy. In the sentence, Kathy loves her dog. Okay, so we have agreement. We see agreement between subject and verb. Subject and verb, subject and complement. Kati is what singular, so the verb should take what should take s. So we have here agreement. Agreement. See, we will talk about them one by one. This agreement is partially based on the category of number. That's whether the noun is singular or plural. So it is what what kind of agreement here? Number. Kati loves her dog. So we have. What number agreement between the subject and verb? It is also based on the category of person, which covers the distinction of first person involving the speaker, second person involving the hearer, and the third person involving any others. For example, audience. The different forms of English pronouns can be described in terms of person and number. We use I for the first person singular. You for the second person singular, he, she, Kathy for the third person singular. You know you are familiar with these things. So, for example, Kathy loves her dog. We have a noun Kathy, which is what third person singular, which is singular. So we use s here, not love. 
to agree with the noun with, with the noun which is the subject you see here in addition the form of the verb must be described in terms of another category called tense tense here we have what the tense is present tense present tense see which is different from the past tense loved see the, sen the sentence is also in the active voice معلوم. describing what Kathy does she performs the action of the verb alternative would be the passive alternative which is which can be used to describe what happens to Kathy okay Kathy is loved by her dog or just Kathy is loved what happened to Kathy and the last one which is gender which help us describe the this is, these are the definitions which help us describe the agreement between Kathy and her in our example gender yani jins male or female in general we have to describe this relation in terms of natural gender mainly derived from a biological distinction so here it's about biological distinction natural gender between male and female the agreement between Kathy and her is based on distinction made in English between reference to female entities she her or male entities he his and things or creatures when the sex is unknown or irrelevant we use it or it's okay so let's see what is grammatical gender only we will take this grammatical gender this type of bi biological distinction used in English is quite different from more common distinction found in languages that use grammatical gender whereas natural gender we said we said what natural gender is based on sex male and female but the grammatical gender this is not natural gender grammatical gender is based on the type of noun masculine or feminine and male or female is not tied to sex okay moon more biological sex we have difference for gender and and sex they're not in Arabic in Arabic they what both of them they mean sex gens sex and gender but uh, sex is what is something biological biology biology how woman how woman is different from man biologically the body okay and other features hormones this is what this is uh, sex but when we say gender no gender it means male or female male this is male and this is female okay and also when we talk about gender we talk about something which is cultural you can say that something is cultural something related to uh, culture so the type of noun masculine and feminine is not tied to sex in this latter sense in this meaning nouns are classified according to their gender class and typically articles and adjectives have different forms to agree with the gender of the noun okay. here we have examples about Spanish language how they have different gender masculine feminine see also here we have another example about German in German how they use female a young girl is biologically female but German now and thus mat matchen matchen mu is German and I don't see it Almani or he shown Munich matchen yes used to talk about her is it in grammatical in neutral etc it's not important what is important is this what is the grammatical gender and what is natural gender thank you so much if you have any question you can ask